Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this one I'll talk you through Securement Silo Alpha and I'm doing it on Pro difficulty this time. There are only minor differences between difficulties anyway. So this silo is located in the northwestern part of Chalk Peak and you should get a quest for it when you are around that level. Before you go in you should craft the stun baton if you don't have it laying around because you'll need it in the seepage area. You should have the blueprint unlocked if you did hold down. By the way that's one of the first anchor point locations you should do when you go into a choke peak anyway. It's just northeast of tall grass in settlement. The mystical crate is in this big mansion basement I think but yeah I might be wrong. Anyway you can't miss the building. Once you have it you can fully complete the silo. You can complete it even without it by the way but you can't meet the side boss if you don't have that weapon on you sadly. Once you enter the thing you spawn with a face where you need to go. So just go as there is no loot in this junction. Go through the door and jump off the ledge. Go down dodging the mines that are placed on almost all intermediate platforms. There is a storage crate down below if you want it. <laughs> I didn't. Up these stairs there are the first enemies and some loot. Grab it and yeah my aim is so bad. Oh my god. And then proceed to the right door and then stop before another door to the right and clear what you can from there. There is an elite too. Once everything is cleared just loot as you please. I'll only mention important crates or the ones you can see in the footage. Then take a left through the door at the end of the room on the left wall. Here you'll go left as well. A bit further on this corridor to the left, there's a locked door and you'll get the key for that from an elite further down. So yeah, we'll come back to this door in a bit. There are lasers in the next corridor on hard and pro difficulty unlike normal. Turn them off from this switch and start clearing the room because there's our elite. I do crap damage in this dungeon because the only the first shot does good damage and all the subsequent shots are doing minus 30% or something. So yeah, I struggle with my subpar gear. After an eternity I finally get the Rosetta V3 access card so don't just go back yet. We got some looting to do. This control room has a weapon crate. Now we can go back. You can stand here once you open the door because it's crawling with enemies. Just do your thing. There's one more sniper above. There are two storage crates on top of these side platforms. Go past the door to the left and open the one to the right because if you go to the left you'll have only 4 minutes to finish the other boss so it's best to do it this way. There is a gear crate here. All these crates can be looted three times if you do the silo once in each difficulty, by the way. Back back. And yeah, they respawn in three or four hours, I believe. Anyway, clear the Rosetta forces in theater. After that, equip the baton and start hitting each one of those generators or whatever they are. Once you activate all of them, the big guy you should be familiar with now spawns. Destroy his weak spots on the legs to put him in its hurt state. Then shoot his... <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm not going to say that. On normal he doesn't have this electric shield around him. Once you're done, loot and go back. Now we need to go through the other door. Time for Sergeant Major Dutch and me to have a word. He's just a regular elite with a shield. Like the other boss, nothing special. Hit his tiny little head and, <laughs> and if he gets too close, spawn the divine on him, so yeah, he can tank for you. Well, and this is pretty much it. The loot is in the room to the right from this big one and I suggest you go up the stairs for a storage crate if you want. But this is it. Thank you for watching and until next time, take care and see ya.